This is fire. And a while ago, I came across a video where Father Nile Red turned it gray. Well, he didn't actually turn fire gray. He just burned a compound called nitromethane, which gives off this weird invisible gray flame. But that wasn't what I found interesting about his video. If we rewind a little bit, we can actually see that he also made a green flame, which most people on the internet seem to enjoy more than the gray one. So I figured I would remake it. Now, Niall is typically very thorough with his procedures anyway, so I just had to follow exactly what he did in his video. For example, if I add a solution of boric acid and methanol and light it on fire, I get a really nice green color. Perfect. So my plan was essentially to do the same thing Niall Red did, mix boric acid and methanol and then light it on fire. I didn't have boric acid, but I did have sodium borate, the conjugate base of boric acid, so I figured that would work. I did have a very small amount of methanol, which is good, but I also wouldn't be able to create a lot of methanol borate solution. Hopefully it would still be enough to create some kind of flame though. Now obviously I knew that I was going to be working with fire on my lab table. My lab table, which is a wooden desk. Starting a chemical fire on a wooden desk is a pretty foolish idea. So that's exactly what I decided to do. Of course, I did also set up some fire precautions as well. There are two main ways of extinguishing a fire. Water and a fire extinguisher. To be safe, I wanted to have both. For water, I had my trusty spray bottle. And for a fire extinguisher, well, I was gonna have to improvise. You see, fire extinguishers are just big cans of CO2, which extinguish fires by removing their source of oxygen. Conveniently enough, humans exhale CO2. So I figured that if the flame starts to get too big, I can just breathe on it to put it out. So I took my sodium borate and added a small amount of it to a vial of methanol I had. I capped it up and swirled it around, and it didn't seem to dissolve very well, but that was okay. I pipetted a small amount of this borate methanol mixture onto a watch glass. Then all I had to do was turn off the lights and light it on fire, and of course pray to the chemistry gods that my table wouldn't explode in flames. Wow. That's beautiful. Holy sh**, dude. That's better than I thought. And it's blue too. Oh my god. Look at this. See the flame disappearing? Absolutely extravagant. Holy sh**. Amazing. It was so beautiful, in fact, that I had to give it another try. Both flames burned pretty much the same color, light blue at the base of the flame and green near the top. They also both had occasional flickers of an orange-yellow flame, which is probably due to the sodium ions in the sodium borate since sodium is known to give off a yellow flame. My flames, however, were pretty different from Nile Red's perfectly green flame. This might be because the sodium borate I used wasn't actually sodium borate, but sodium tetraborate, also known as Baymax, sorry, Borax. Overall, I consider this a complete success. Nothing blew up, and the flame was beautiful. W flame. W flame. Oh, shit.